Hello students, today I am going to discuss laser diffraction experiment. Okay, do you know the laser diffraction experiment? The aim of the experiment to determine the number of lines per millimeter of the grating using the grill light of the marker spectrum, and another one to calculate the wavelength of the other prominent lines of the marker by nominal incidence. So what are the apparatus we have to use? We have to use the spectrometer, diffraction grating element, and marker vapor lamp. Okay. This is a lengthy experiment. I am not going to details in the theory part. So in the theory part, you have to use the single slit diffraction. You know the diffraction. Diffraction means when the light waves travel through a medium and strike an obstacle, the light wave will bend at the corner of the edge of the obstacle. Okay. And this bending is called the diffraction. Here we have to use the single slit diffraction and the diffraction grating element. Now see, this is the spectrum, that is the pattern of the diffraction when the light is passing through a grating, that is incident light is passing through a grating, the slit weight is A of the grating, then in the screen there is a some maximum and minimum of the intensity of that light, in the zeroth of the order is the maximum intensity and in the both the side the intensity will be decreases. Okay, and the angle of the diffraction is theta and the length between the grating and the screen say is L. So first you need to calculate the number of lines per millimeter of the grating and using that number of grating speech that is the number of lines you need to calculate the wavelength of the grating. So, okay, so this is a schematic diagram of the diffraction of the, so this is a collimator and this is a grating, this is a grating table, spectrometer table. When light coming through a collimator and obstruct the grating, it will diffract in different angles. See, so this is a direct ray and there is a order of the diffraction. In the left side there are the number of order of the diffraction, in the right side also number of diffraction. So is the first order, second order, third order. In the opposite side also first order, second order, third order. So you need to calculate the angle between these two diffracted rays. Okay. So I am going to in the simulation part. See this is your spectrometer table for the experiment okay and this is a focusing part of the telescope this is a spectrometer this is the telescope this is a collimator this is a spectrometer table there is a two vernier vernier one another one vernier two and this is a spectrometer tables okay first we have to focus the telescope there is a slider you just slide the slider and when the image of the telescope is clear see now the image of the telescope is clear and the start button is activated see then you click on the start button see the image of the telescope is visible okay now Im image of the telescope is visible then you click on the switch on light button see light is on now this is the slit okay you need to focus the slit properly now is focus the slit focus okay when the slit is very fine see when it's around it now the slit is very fine okay and then this is a slit width fix the slit width at 0 0.1 now we click on the place grating now grating is already placed okay now there is a different parameter say telescope angle grating table vernier table and this is a fine angle for the focusing the telescope first you need to calculate the number of lines per unit length of the grating and using that you have to calculate the wavelength of the other spectrum okay so this is a spectrometer table this is a one year one and one year two when you place the mouse on the one year see in the zoom portion one year scale is visible see in the vernier scale in, is visible so in the vernier scale 30 division is there okay so first you need to calculate the vernier constant of the scale you know the 30 of the vernier is coinciding 29 of the main scale and the smallest division of the vernier scale is 0 0.5 so according to the formula you first need to calculate the vernier constant 
okay then you take the main scale reading in the one year scale reading okay when you hold your mouse on the telescope and you rotate in the say in the left side direction and then the fringes will be visible see now the fringes will be visible see the fringes is there so first you just focus the green light of the vertical crosswire see i am just focusing now the green light is focus the crosswire okay then that position you take the reading of the vernier scale and the main scale see you just place your mouse in the vernier scale and the reading will be visible in the scale see the zero of the vernier where is the zero of the vernier the zero of the vernier is just before the 200 of the main scale so his reading will be 199 degree so main scale reading is 199 degree and the vernier scale out of 30 which one is coinciding to any certain mark of the main scale that is your vernier reading so in the left side the the springes the vernier one reading main scale is 199 degree and vernier which one is coinciding you have to take that value okay for the one year one and in the one year two in the similar way you have to take the reading of the one year two okay so the one year two now the zero of the one year is where is the zero of the one year so you have to focus properly and see now the zero of the one year is about 19 degree so one year two reading the main scale is 19 degree and uh, correspondingly one year reading you have to take so one year one and one year two you need to take both the reading okay for the left side one year one and one year two you just put the value in your tables and the similar way you just go to the right side of the fringes okay now this is the right side and again you the green light is coinciding the vertical crosswire and the similar way you need to take the reading of the one year one and in the one year two okay so you just put your table data in the tables see this is your data tables for the green light wavelength is given already 546.1 and you already taken the reading for the one year one and one year two left side as well as the right side and then you calculate the difference and the calculate the theta and the number of lines per millimeter of the getting that is the n you have to calculate that value of n that is the first part of the experiment right and using that value you calculate the another part of the experiment that is the wavelength of the different light say yellow blue violet green whatever again i am going to second part of the experiment okay already we have taken the value first part that is the left side and the right side then in the similar way you just coming to the initial position and then you come to the left side of the spectrum then you coincide all the fringes one by one you just coinciding the say different spectrum with the uh, vertical portion say blue then violet then sky then yellow you just coincide all the spectrum one by one with the one year that is the vertical portion and take both the reading one year one as well as one year two when the left side reading is completed then you go back to the right side of the reading okay and similarly you have to take all the reading that is yellow sky violet okay and blue okay you have to take all the data for the different fringes one year one and one year two and you put your all the values in your data tables and this is one year one one year two for the left side and the one year one one year two for the right side for different color of fringes in the similar way you calculate the difference and then theta and then you calculate the wavelength of the light okay and this is for the first order if you want to take the reading for the second order you just go to the more then you go to the fringes of the second order the similar way you just focus the light on the one year vertical crosswire and you take the reading for the one year one year one one year two and in the similar way in the right side also you just focus the 
the crosswire with the different fringes and you take both the reading one near one and one near two in the that all the value you have to put in the data tables and then you calculate the wavelength of the different light of the fringes okay thank you